Let's go through MCQs in medical physiology under the topic excitable muscle tissue physiology. So the first question reads, which of the following statements about smooth muscle contraction is most accurate? A. Calcium independent. B. Does not require an action potential. C. Requires more energy compared to skeletal muscle. And D. Shorter in duration compared to skeletal muscle. So the question here, it is asking about the math, uh, smooth muscle contraction. The statement here, which is most accurate about smooth muscle. So smooth muscle contraction do not require an action potential as in skeletal and cardiac muscle. So here the presence of calcium in the myoplasm of the smooth muscle will initiate a contraction does not require an action potential so that is the statement which is accurate about the smooth muscle so the correct answer for question 11 is b so we move on to question 12. so question 12 reads which of the following best describes an attribute of visceral smooth muscle not shared by skeletal muscle which of the following best describes an attribute of visceral smooth muscle not shared by skeletal muscle? So A, contraction is ATP dependent. B, con contracts in response to stretch. D, does not con contain actin filament. D, high rate of cross bridge cycling and E, low maximal force of contraction so the correct answer for question 12 is b so b is the correct answer for question 12 because a visceral smooth muscle contract uh, they contract in response to stretch they contract in response to stretch but Skeletal muscle do not contract in response to stretch. So this is uh, the statement which best describes an attribute of visceral smooth muscle which is not shared by the skeletal muscle. So the correct answer is B. Question 13. The resting potential of a myelinated nerve fiber is primarily depend on the concentration gradient of which of the following ions. The resting potential of a myelinated nerve fiber is primarily dependent on the concentration gradient of which of the following. Calcium, B, chlorine, C, bicarbonate, D, potassium, E, sodium correct answer for this question is D, potassium. So the resting potential of a myelinated nerve fiber is primarily depending on potassium, the concentration gradient of potassium because potassium is readily or uh, has higher permeability at rest as compared to these other Ions. So for question 13, correct answer is D. Question 14. Calmodulin is most closely related both structure and func function functionally to which of the following proteins? Calmodulin is mostly closely related both structure and functionally to which of the following proteins? A. G acting. B myosin light chain c tropomyosin d troponin c so calmodulin which is in, in um, uh, smooth muscles 
it is closely related to troponin C. In smooth muscle, calcium binds to calmodulin and activates the myosin light chains for the contract contraction to take place. Now in skeletal muscles, calcium binds to troponin C. So calmodulin and troponin C, they serve similar functions. The difference is that calmodulin is in smooth muscle and troponin C is in skeletal muscle. So the correct answer is G. Troponin C is closely related to in structure and functional, functionally in functional to calmodulin. Question 15. Which of the following is a consequence of myelination in large nerve fibers? Which of the following is a consequence of myelination in large nerve fibers? A. De decreased velocity of nerve impulses. B. Generation of action potentials only at the nodes of Ramvia. C. Increased energy requirement to maintain ion gradient. D. Increased membrane capacitance and E increased non-selective diffusion of ions across the axon membrane. So the consequence of myelination in large nerve fibers is that is uh, the generation of action potentials only at the nodes of Ramvia. The uh, action potentials are generated only at the nodes of Ramvia. This is the consequence the result of myelinating a nerve fiber. So in a myelinated nerve fiber, you have um, myelinations, myelinations, something like this, uh, on the axon. So the generation of action potentials will only take place here at the nodes of Ramvia here. That's where the action potentials will be generated. Here we we'll have myelinations here. These are myelinations. So here uh, action potentials cannot be generated. So this is the, as a result of uh, myelination. So the correct answer is B. Generation of action potentials only at the nodes of Ramvia is as uh, the consequence of myelination in large nerve fibers. So we go for question 16. Question 16 reads, during a demonstration for medical students, a neuro neurologist uses magnetic cortical stimulation to trigger firing of the ulnar nerve in a volunteer. At relative low amplitude stimulation, action potentials are recorded only from muscle fibers in the index finger as the amplitude of the stimulation is increased action potentials are recorded from muscle fibers in both index finger and bicep muscle muscles what is the fundamental principle underlying this amplitude dependent response a. Large motor neurons that innervate large motor units require a large depolarization stimulus. B. Recruitment of multiple motor units requires a larger depolarizing stimulus. And C. The bicep muscle is innervated by more motor neurons. D. The motor units in the biceps are smaller than those in the muscles of the finger. And E, the muscle, muscles in the finger are innervated only by the ulnar nerve. So for question 16, the correct answer is A. Large motor neurons are innervated, uh, large motor neurons that innervate larger motor units require a large depolarizing stimulus. Why are we saying so? In the first place, this neurologist 
he used a magnetic cortical stimulation to trigger firing of ulna nerve in a volunteer. So at first, low amplitude stimulation action potentials were only recorded in the muscle fibers in the index finger, meaning these index fingers they produce fine movements which only require low amplitude stimulations. But uh, as the amplitude stimulation was increased, what happened is that the bicep and the index fingers did what? They, the action potentials were recorded in the biceps. So the, this tells us to say when you increase the amplitude of, uh, of the stimulation, even the larger muscles does what? Uh, action potentials in larger muscles are recorded. So we can simply say large motor neurons that are, that innervate large motor units require a larger depolarization stimulus. Because in the first place, low amplitude stimulation only uh, re uh, recorded uh, action potentials were only recorded in uh, index finger muscles. And then when the amplitude was increased, then he, the action potential were recorded even in the bicep muscles. So that is large motor neurons which are which innervate the bicep muscles require larger depolarization stimulus for action potentials to, re to be recorded there. So the correct answer is A for 16. We move on to question 17. Similarities between smooth and cardiac muscle include which of the following? A, ability to contract in the absence of an action potential. B, dependence of contraction on calcium ions. C, presence of T-tubule network. D, row of myosin kinase in muscle contraction. And E, striated arrangement of the act actin in myosin filament. So the correct answer is uh, B, dependence of contraction on calcium ions. This is a similarity between smooth and cardiac muscle. So they all depend on calcium ions to for contraction to take place. Question 18. In a normal health muscle, what occurs as a result of propagation of an action potential to the terminal membrane of a motor neuron? In a normal health muscle, what occurs as a result of propagation of an action potential to the terminal membrane of an of a motor neuron? A. Opening of voltage-gated calcium channels in the presynaptic membrane. B. Depolarization of the T tubule membrane follows. And C. Always result in muscle contraction. D. Increase in intracellular calcium concentration in the motor neuron terminal and E. All of the above are correct. So the correct answer for question 18 is E. All of the above are correct. In a normal health muscle, result of propagating action potential, firstly what will happen is that uh, if in a neuron, when the action potential is coming to a terminal, to the terminal, to the terminal membrane of a motor neuron, what will happen is that calcium gated channels will open and calcium will come inside the presynaptic cell. So opening of gated, uh, voltage gated calcium channels then from there, what happens? The vessels, uh, vesicles containing acetylcholine will bind to the presynaptic cell, presynaptic membrane, and acetylcholine uh, will, will be released in the in the in, in the space in this presynaptic space here, the synaptic space which will bind to the receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. 
so that will lead to depolarization of the t tubule membrane when there are that uh, action potential spreads across the sarcolemma depolarization of the t tubules membrane will follow and that will always result in a muscle contraction so as this calcium as this calcium enters the cell through the calcium voltage gated channels the calcium intracellular calcium will increase the concentration will increase in a motor neuron terminal so that's why we are saying all these events take place when in a normal health muscle when uh, an action potential is propagating to the terminal membrane so correct answer is e question 19 which of the following decreases in length during the contraction of a skeletal muscle fiber a a band of the sarcomia b i band of the sarcomia c thick filaments d thin filaments and e z disc of the sarcomia so what decreases in length during contraction is the i band the i band of the sarcomia decreases in length the a bands do not decrease thick filament and thin thin filament do not change in length and the red disc of the sarcomia also remains the same but what changes is the i band question 20 a cross section view of a skeletal muscle fiber through the edge zone would reveal the presence of what a actin and titan titan b the actin but no mousin c actin mousin and titan d mousin and actin and e mousin but no actin so on the h zone you only find mousin and the m line so the correct answer is e mousin only if you cut on the on the h h zone where we have the m line if you just cut there you only find myosin in the m h zone so the correct answer is e thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comment in the comment section below to support my small youtube channel